you're enjoying a serene day at the beach when suddenly the water recedes rapidly. In the next few minutes, your actions will determine your fate. How can you survive a tsunami according to science? Tsunamis, these colossal sea waves, hold a power that's both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Their unpredictability adds an extra layer of danger, making them a force of nature that demands our respect and understanding. So what causes these monstrous waves? Tsunamis are often birthed from the seafloor's violent disruptions, such as underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides. And if you happen to be extraordinarily unlucky, much like the dinosaurs, you might face the catastrophic aftermath of an asteroid impact that generates the most devastating tsunami imaginable. Asteroid impacts have historically generated massive tsunamis, with the most notable event occurring approximately 66 million years ago when a six-mile-wide asteroid struck Earth, leading to the extinction of the dinosaurs. This catastrophic impact triggered a mega tsunami with waves reaching heights of up to mile high, far surpassing any modern tsunami. The energy released by this impact was estimated to be 30,000 times greater than that of any recorded tsunami, resulting in a global wave that circled the planet within 48 hours. Evidence of this ancient tsunami can be found in sediment deposits and disturbed layers on the ocean floor which correlate with the impact site. Another significant event occurred 4,800 years ago when a large asteroid or comet struck the Indian Ocean, producing a tsunami that reached heights of at least 600 feet, demonstrating the potential for catastrophic waves from asteroid impacts. The average tsunami is significantly smaller than the catastrophic waves produced by asteroid impacts. Typically, most tsunamis range from 10 to 30 feet in height. With careful planning and smart decision-making, survival is definitely possible. The key to survival lies in understanding tsunamis. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it could mean the difference between life and death. While tsunamis are rare, their destructive power is immense, making it crucial to know what to do when one strikes. So, what are the best strategies for surviving a tsunami? The first step to surviving a tsunami is recognizing the warning signs. Let's delve into what these signs look like. Nature often gives us the first hint. Rapid sea level receding is one sign that a tsunami might be on its way. If you see the ocean suddenly pull back, exposing the seafloor, it's time to be alert. Another telltale sign is a loud ocean roar. This roar, often described as a freight train or jet plane, can be heard as the tsunami approaches. Then there's strong ground shaking. This is usually due to the undersea earthquake that triggers the tsunami. Remember, tsunamis can follow earthquakes almost instantly. But we're not entirely reliant on nature's signals. Official tsunami warnings are issued by meteorological and seismic organizations. These warnings can come via sirens, television, radio, text messages, or even door-to-door -door notifications. When nature and official warnings signal a tsunami, act quickly and decisively. Once you know a tsunami is imminent, immediate action is critical to your survival. When the earth shakes underfoot or the sea begins to retreat, these are the moments when your heart must turn to steel and your mind must become a beacon of calm and focus. The first and foremost action to take is to move inland and to higher ground as quickly as possible. There's no time to be a spectator or try to capture the perfect social media post. Every second you waste is a second closer to the tsunami's arrival. Forget the beachfront view. Your priority should be to put as much distance as you can between yourself and the sea. Now you might be thinking, I'll just hop in my car and drive away. But that's not always the best idea. Roads could be jam-packed with other people trying to escape, slowing you down significantly. Plus, bridges and roads could be damaged by the preliminary earthquake. Instead, your feet, a bicycle or a motorbike can be your best allies in this race against the sea. A tsunami travels fast, but so can you. Avoid staying near the shore at all costs. The shoreline is the tsunami's first stop, and it's not a place you want to be when it arrives. The water isn't just coming straight at you, it's coming from all directions. It's a relentless, all-consuming force that won't stop until it has claimed everything in its path. If you're in a building and can't get out, head for the roof or the highest floor. But remember, Buildings can collapse under the force of a tsunami, so this is a last resort. The key is not to panic. Fear can freeze you in your tracks. But now is the time to act. In a tsunami, seconds count.
Don't wait to see the tsunami. Act immediately. Your immediate action could be the difference between life and death. Every step you take away from the shore is a step towards survival. If you can't escape the tsunami, survival becomes a matter of holding on. In the face of a tsunami, sometimes there's simply no time to reach high ground or a safe distance. It's in these moments that tension runs high and quick decisions are paramount. But don't lose heart. Even in such dire circumstances, there are steps you can take to increase your chances of survival. First and foremost, find something sturdy to hold on to. Whether it's a tree, a pole, or any other solid structure, securing yourself can prevent you from being swept away by the powerful waves. The tsunami's force is not just in its initial impact, but also in the relentless flow of water that follows. If you can't find a sturdy structure, try to climb onto a roof. It may not be the high ground you'd ideally want, but it can provide a crucial few extra feet above the surging waters. In a more rural setting, climbing a tree could be your best bet. Despite their seeming fragility, trees have deep roots and can withstand the tsunami's force. Now let's talk about debris. It's not just the water that's dangerous during a tsunami, but also the debris it carries. Sharp objects, heavy materials, even vehicles can become deadly projectiles. Your best strategy is to stay as far away as possible. Surviving the tsunami itself requires quick thinking and a strong will to survive. After the tsunami, the danger isn't over. The waves may have receded, but the aftermath of a tsunami presents its own set of challenges. It's not just about surviving the initial impact, but also about safely navigating what comes after. Tsunamis are not just one wave, but multiple waves. The second wave can arrive after five minutes up to an hour. In many cases, the first wave is not the largest, and the second wave can be even more powerful. This means that after the first wave hits, it is crucial to remain vigilant as additional waves may continue to arrive for several hours. The exact timing depends on various factors, including the distance from the tsunami's origin and the underwater topography. In the wake of a tsunami, areas can be flooded and significantly damaged. It's crucial to stay away from these regions. The water isn't simply a puddle that you can wade through. It's often filled with debris and sharp objects and can be electrically charged from downed power lines. It's not a risk worth taking. Next, let's talk about water, but not the kind you're trying to avoid. While you need to drink to survive, after a tsunami, the water can be contaminated with sewage, chemicals, and other harmful substances. Drinking contaminated water can lead to serious illness or even death. Therefore, it's crucial to find a clean source of water or have a method to purify it. Finally, patience is key. It might be tempting to rush back home to see what's left to start rebuilding, but it's crucial to wait for official information before returning. The area needs to be deemed safe by professionals who understand the risks involved. They'll check for structural damage, gas leaks, and other hazards. Surviving a tsunami isn't just about the moment it hits, but also about navigating the aftermath safely. Survivors expressed, I wish I had taken it more seriously. They emphasized the importance of continuing to escape farther and higher to a safer ground. By understanding the nature of tsunamis and implementing proper safety measures, we can mitigate the devastating impact of these natural disasters. Stay informed, stay safe, and be prepared. While tsunamis are among the most terrifying forces of nature, these monstrous waves are relatively rare events. In some parts of the world, giant waves are the norm, and we must learn to navigate these dangerous waters. To learn more about the North Sea's monstrous waves, watch the next video.